All right, so yo, who you said is in that picture? You said that that was '87 in Empire Skate in Empire Skating Ring. That was '87 either in Empire Skating Ring, outside of Empire, and I had to be inside of. Or that was at the park. That probably is at Wingate Park because they used to have jams in the park as well. But um, it's a strong possibility it was in the ring. Now I'm gonna start from the bottom. I ain't gonna mention who I where I'm at, but. At the bottom, it's my good guy, Indian KB. I got to say Indian KB because, you know, when you say KB, a brothers just be running all over the place. Yo, what KB? Blah, blah, blah. So that's my boy KB right there. Right on top of him with the Fila, the Fila um, hookup on, right on top of him to the left is his criny Lance. Because even though we all was together, everybody had their little pockets on who they really bang with and who, like, they co-defendant was when it's time to go to spots or whatever. So that was Lance Panner right there on the left of him. On the right of him with the front smiling is Riz. That's Get Money Riz right there. Boy, oh boy. That man seen a lot of paper. I seen a lot of paper with that guy. Boom. Coming up top on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, well, Riz is, a, is VP, right? In the middle... It's Squig. Squig them did have had a bunch of careers in his career in his life. But back in the day, Squig is the one. Squig tried to motherfucking I met him because he tried to rob me in the arcade game room for a couple of my mans. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't going for that. So what you mean he tried to rob you for a couple of your your mans on the game? Yeah, you know how you playing the game and niggas come, yo, let me get a man. You be like, nah, and then niggas are dope you out and then the next nigga jump on the game. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, good old school shit. You can't take that kind of shit personally because, you know, that's just how it was in the arcade game room. A lot of motherfuckers ain't even venture the arcade game room. You talking about but, the arcade that was in the mall? Nah, not the arcade in the mall. This arcade was ran by um Spanish, the Spanish, my Spanish family, Jesus in them. I think his name is Jesus. Or um but somebody gonna give me some insight on that, man. That 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 was on the app, man. That was on Albany. The arcade game room, you know what I mean? And um, right next to him and that good, that good low shield jack, that that's Nah Nah right there. That's the good guy Nah. You know what I mean? Um, and I can't see in the back, but behind, but Big Ant is in there. Big Ant is in there right behind me, right? Um. And to the back, to the left, with white on, that should be black. That's my God, black. Black was like the top tier, the hierarchy system right back then. You know what I mean? What and you next mean? To black, white what, you mean with, what you mean, boosting? Um, black did everything. Black, not nah, black. That wasn't that wasn't black mo. You know, none of that shit. Black. Started the drug game. He started. You know what? He he just started doing a lot of different things early. So you know, he was the hierarchy system. You know what I mean? Introduce motherfuckers. Black was the only motherfucker they used to come out the Marcy and check me. You know what I mean? When I was in when I was when I was in Marcy P's, he used to be coming through for me. Um, and that's when I was on a riggedy. And that's white boy Kev next to him and a good Lecoq sportif. You know what I mean? Sweatsuit vintage, good vintage shit. And um the brother right there with that lonely horse, that gray horse shirt. Uh he's um uh that what he I don't you know he's in a flick, but that that's kinda like a that horse was outdated at that time. Not technically, you know, for the normal people, that was a good piece of material, good garment. But um when you was well advanced in in, in, in in your um in your fashion district, you wasn't wearing no horse at them type of events. It had to be a shield, a good colorful boy or something like that, or just sweat suited out, you know what I'm saying? But of course you could Riz had that good guest that good guest um vest on. He had the whole outfit with that. Squid had that brand new crispy out the box red low jean suit. That was classic with the with the with the with the corduroy collar on the inside. They only made them in blue and red. Black came out later on, but you know that this is a real vintage joint right here, man. You know. I see that good visor too. Oh yeah, he got that good um 
he got that good Fila visor to go with that. Um, and I had on the Fila jacket and the um, hat that I caught out of um, Trump, 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 Trump Plaza. Trump, was it Trump Tower or Trump Plaza? I don't know. One of them shits had an elite store and a Fila store up on like the 25th floor or some shit like that. So if you could get in there, you could you could use score. But the problem was getting in there. The doorman was on it. So that's what we kind of wrecked them on that note. But um, yeah, that that was a good eighty-seven. That was eighty-seven, man. You know. I see three more point. people. I see four more people after that. Going to the right. Somebody I else got some fronts. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't see that far. I can't see that good. You know, I'm still dealing with a a SE eight. So I'm, my upgrade game is going to step up. <laughs> so don't, don't knock me for that. But on another note, sort of, um, that's a good flick, man. Brother's going to start doing this, man. I am, man. They're going to bring back a whole bunch of memories. And keep in mind, right, out of respect, I gave everybody, I named out everybody. But everybody in this flick is not down by law no more. You know? So, you know, um... And there's some other motherfuckers that's in the flick that really, I ain't even gonna mention. Cause you know how shit go. Motherfuckers will be good to the go ahead. And then the switch up game, when shit start changing up, motherfuckers, niggas, niggas, niggas is jumping hurdles, man. So, uh, you know, I ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody. I just ain't calling them out. And they ain't got nothing good to say about them. You know? Nah. Big man is in the back. Big Ann is in the back. That's Panda with the jean jacket on right there. And that's Riz with the jean, the guest vest on right there. Big Ann is in the back. He was big, so he had to be in the back. Whoa. Still, stand, memories, still alive, man. Still with us, though. Yo, but, um, yeah, nah, man. I just seen, I just seen Nah Nah. That's the most recent individual in this flick that I seen recently. You know? So, uh, yeah, this ain't gonna be no one minute. I'm gonna have to start a new series, uh, uh, a thousand words extendo. Yeah, because you gotta have the extendo if you got a, a mob deep flick like this. Yeah, yeah, that, it's a fact. It's history behind each of these individuals, you know what I mean? And you know, some of them, well, one of them, yeah, man, big ant, man, that's it, big ant, man, that's my god. That shit lifted my spirits just now, bro. But um, yeah, man, that's another man. Um, matter of fact, I just came across a, a, a joint that somebody tried to tell me they want to send it in, and I was like, Nah, don't send it in. You know what I'm saying? Don't send it in, cause brothers be wanting brothers. Brothers gotta do their shit, man. They be want me to tell the shit, man. I be forgetting that thing, man. I don't be remembering that shit. I'm dealing with all kind of shit every day, but. Some shit come back, so some shit came back. So I gotta hit you on that note, and we can get it in. All right, I'm just going to give a little brief history about this corner right here. This is Rockaway in East New York Avenue. You heard, all right, first of all, it used to be a world famous lighting store on this corner that sold lamps. I mean, all through the 80s, all through the 80s, the 90s, you feel me? They just sold lamps they was the like the biggest lamp uh a uh, wholesale spot in the whole new york and they had another store right across the street and down the block like where their main office was but the showroom store was where i'm standing at right here that ain't there no more then across the street from me you really can't see it but it's a grocery store across the street a yellow grocery store across the street they made the best heroes on our side of the ville and i mean they probably wasn't as crazy as, you know, Ace Deli and all of that. But basically, that yellow store was known for them official heroes. Right up the block, the 60 bus stop right there. Royal Fried Chicken was there. There's a Dunkin' Donuts there now, whatever. But it used to be Royal Fried Chicken. Before it was Royal Fried Chicken, it was Benson Burgers. You heard? This is a fact. Um, Across the street, like where that red building is at, that church is a church that always been there. You feel me? Down the block. Is the Chinese restaurant for my projects. You feel me? Like, we got two Chinese restaurants. That joint, joint right there on Pickin' Avenue. Boom. 
but this joint used to accept food stamps. I don't know about the joint on Pickin Avenue, but this joint on my side, they accepted food stamps. They giving you change and all of that. You buy something with a five dollar food stamp for three dollars, they giving you back two food stamp singles. That's how serious it was. You heard stop one was down the block. You feel me? World famous grocery store that used to be down there. You feel me? The 73rd precinct used to be on the block I'm standing on. Know what I mean, then they moved down the block by Amboy. You feel me? And that became urban strategies like some little youth program. I was in there. Me and pressure and a bunch of us was in there, man. Know what I mean, shout out to Mary and a bunch of us that was in my bro, Steve. I just remember Steve just now talking about this. My bro, Steve with the glasses. Now, I mean, we all was in urban strategies together, man. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, this is a uh, how it houses block right here right down the block is the peas you feel what i'm saying but this is a legendary corner in brownsville now i mean rockaway east new york so you know what i mean y'all step y'all brooklyn knowledge up out there you're z-boy suicide polo with the ski boy yeah now nah, i forgot to mention that across the street from that chinese restaurant like now i mean right next door to the precinct now i mean it was a uh, another legendary store right there that used to make some extreme heroes but this was like in the 90s now i mean the other store across the street the yellow store they was there since the 80s forever but now i mean in the 90s another store popped up jamaican store right there now i mean next to urban strategies now i mean the heroes was bananas too i used to go up in there and get that roast beef and cheese you heard when i was eating meat and swan and all that I used to go up in there and get that roast beef and cheese toasted bread with some mustard on that Woo wee Matter of fact, it was pastrami and cheese. It wasn't roast beef and cheese, my fault. It was pastrami and cheese, know what I mean? With the mustard, slide right off from everybody in the projects, know what I mean? Creep off while nobody was looking so nobody can't get none of my hero. You feel me? Nick's playing basketball in the park and all of that. Slide right off. Go to that joint, get that pastrami and cheese hero, know what I mean? I ain't even gonna hold you like a newborn baby. Good 50 cent soda with that. Good ball buster. Coconut, you heard? Good coconut 50 cent soda with that. Just keeping it real. And I mean, walk behind the rent office building by the parking lots where the alley is at. Walk up there so nobody don't see me. You feel what I'm saying? Eat that whole hero by the time I get back to population. And that's a fact. Z-Man.